Hey guys, Josh Koch here and I'm super excited to talk about a new training aid that released last month called the Koch Crusher in partnership with my friends over at Mach 3. This is an awesome tool and today we're gonna go over one of my favorite drills, backswing heaves. All right guys, so the purpose of this tool is really designed to take the arms and the hands out of the equation, okay? So the, the way we get into it is we set up and we want to have the tool sitting on the just below our rib cage okay so you'll see if i turn to my right you can see how there's a space between the bottom of the tool and my upper arm that's the space we're looking for some people make this mistake of setting up with this directly down their form that's not what we want okay we want this simulating a golf club as much as possible so when i set up you'll see that the tool is on my rib cage hands are now a little forward because of that and the important part to understand is that the first thing that is actually starting the golf swing is the feet through a force called medial lateral force or left to right force. And basically all that is, is if we rock back and forth from side to side, um, that's the same motion that some of the fastest players are using to start their golf swing, okay? So if we do that with this rope tool, leaving our arms and our hands out of it, you'll see that that rocking motion actually starts to snake the rope on the ground nice and smooth it's a sign that we are creating energy with our feet and it is getting distributed to the end of the club okay so the second part of the swing is once we actually create that medial lateral force or left to right force from there we're then using our core to throw that club back as hard as we can okay so it looks something like this okay to where now you start to see this rope getting heaved back and away from the target, okay? Now, there's a sequencing to it, okay? So, it's important to note that I'm not going to the right and moving the rope back together, okay? You'll see that it's very hard to muscle that rope back doing that. It's not efficient in terms of using our body. What we want is when we rock to our right, okay, you'll actually see the, the rope tool swing forward ever so slightly, okay? And that gives me leverage to now use my right oblique to throw that tool back away from the target, okay? So to recap, okay, I'm rocking. You'll start to see the tool actually snake on the ground from the rock. Naturally, the arms in the club are just reacting to that. And then once my right foot hits down, the rope should be forward, and then I could use my oblique to kind of throw the rope back. Now, the cool thing is once you get the sequence of this correct, we could actually turn this into somewhat of a power or explosive movement. Um, when I'm typically doing this, I won't do more than five reps because I really want to make sure my intent is 100%. And a lot of times after five reps, that starts to decline. So if I get the rope back in front of me over here. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So basically feet are moving. Naturally, the sequencing is gonna kind of figure itself out. And then I'm using my core boom, to throw that back as far as I can. And so the cool thing about this is because the rope is a little bit on the heavier side, it really forces my lower body to stabilize as I wind that upper body up to my right, I can feel everything, my core, my left lat, my left shoulder, all loading. And that's something that I'm always trying to get out of my golf swing. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. You can find this drill along with many others in the 150 mile an hour blueprint over on hitbombs.com. Be sure to check that out. Other than that, from Orlando, Florida, we'll see you next week.